Good morning, you guys. I feel like I have a lot of extra energy today, so I decided that I'm actually gonna bring you along with our entire meal prep of the day because I know a lot of you wanna know what I eat, what I prep, how I prep, and a lot of you get intimidated by meal prepping, and I promise it's very, like you don't need to make it complicated. So I'm gonna bring you through it. I'm gonna actually really quickly show you our grocery list, and then we'll get into the cooking. Also, if you hear any noise in the background, it's Mitch because he's cleaning the Blackstone. That's what we mass cook all of our chicken on, is our Blackstone grill outside. Meal prep can get stinky. Not stinky in a bad way, but just like, I don't want the whole house smelling like onion, garlic, chicken, and all that stuff. But this is what we got at Costco today. First I got flowers, look how pretty these flowers are. Then my current obsession is poppy, so I got a container of poppy. We've got sweet potatoes avocados, sourdough for avocado toast, Normandy vegetables. We're lazy over here, okay? We're not really cooking much stuff from straight fresh. One, because I feel like it goes bad really, really quickly. Two, this can be ready in like two minutes. I am meal prepping with asparagus this week. We got six salad kits because I, like I said, we're lazy and I absolutely love these. We each have half of a salad kit every day and then we just put our um, chicken on top of it. It's so good. Said chicken that will go on the salad. Beef loin New York steak boneless USDA choice. Um, oh, my current obsession, Good Culture Cottage Cheese. I have been, okay, it's kind of gross. As like a midnight snack, I will take a bowl of this, mix buffalo sauce in, and then take my little like chicken, grilled chicken strips that Mitch makes and like dip it in there and eat it. It is so good. We've got ground beef frozen shrimp, eggs, blueberries, Greek yogurt, I don't think I should do that yet, pineapple, is that it? I think that's everything. So yeah, that's the grocery haul. I guess let's get cooking. It's getting like weirdly dark out. Oh, the sun just came back out. But first step is we're gonna be prepping the chicken before we go put it on the Blackstone and that requires this thing. So I'm gonna be slapping the chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna be using my little Thor hammer and we're gonna be flattening the chicken so it cooks evenly. That's a really important step. So don't forget to hammer your chicken. Mitch is station. getting chicken juices everywhere, which is extremely frowned upon. Like that's the last thing we want to do. But the only other option would be cube all of this chicken. And I prefer instead of having like cubed little chicken bites in my salad, I prefer to have like, once this is cooked, to cut it into strips. It's so much better. So that's why I'm going the extra mile to flatten this chicken. Look at Miss Chicken, she got absolutely filthy. Did you get dirty, Mom? You're gonna put some more oil on the Blackstone, and you're gonna spread it around, and then you're gonna slack your chicken on, and then you're gonna season it really quick, and you're just gonna let it sit. I'm a beginner, you guys, and Mitch knows this. Thank you. 
Okay, we're back inside. We're actually, why is it so low? I'm about to start prepping some veggies. This is gonna go with my quinoa and shrimp dish. I think I'm only having asparagus with it. I don't think I'm gonna do Normandy vegetables. I think that's just gonna be for Mitch's dish. So we're gonna plop these into the oven and add a little bit of, am I gonna season these? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, you guys, I'm losing steam. I started off really excited to vlog, then I decided to vlog for YouTube and make a TikTok reel. So I just put in the asparagus, it's gonna go in for 10 minutes, and then broils for three to five minutes. And then in the meantime, I'm going to cut up this chicken and put it in, I think I'm gonna do 100 to 150 grams in containers. I'm just gonna break it up so I don't have to weigh it when I wanna eat it. I'll just have six containers in the fridge of 100 to 150 grams of protein. I haven't decided yet, or 100, 100 to 150 grams of chicken. Have not decided yet. When you see me putting in separate containers just chicken alone, it's because that's the chicken that I put on top of my salad. So, yeah. All the chicken has been cut, you guys. It is so good. Chicken! She's out there barking at people. There's like an open house going on next door. This poor kid is just trying to celebrate his graduation. I'm so good. We're meal prepping shrimp. We need 48 shrimp and we're gonna thaw them. See, it's easier to wait for you so count 48 shrimp. <laughs> but have fun. Look what Mitch is making right now. There is there is beef and egg in there, and he's making one of these like little bold boldak. Bowls. We got a ton of these from Costco, but I'm jealous. Perfect. We got 48 shrimp, I think. 24 in each layer. Alright, that was really chaotic. I don't know if you could even hear what I was saying as we were cooking the shrimp, but basically I put paprika, salt, pepper, and garlic in the shrimp as well as olive oil. Um, I kind of eyeballed everything and then we just threw it right into the pan over medium heat and we kind of adjusted the heat as we went. But like it's fast, like you're going fast. I think the total time that was on the stove was maybe three, four minutes and like you're stirring the whole time. I don't really have a specific amount of time. We just cooked it until it looked ready and now I'm going to portion out my meals.
Okay, I guess that's it. I guess this video is kind of short and really chaotic. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of go through what I'm gonna be eating this week. Just because I don't prep all of my meals, but I know you guys are still interested in what I'm eating throughout the day. Um, I don't currently track my calories though. I do obviously like weigh how much food I'm putting into each dish just so, you know, like today I did 110 grams of quinoa. I kind of just eyeballed the asparagus. I did one serving of shrimp, 100 and, what did I do? 140 grams of chicken. Anyways, like I measure it, but I'm not like really tracking it. So for breakfast, I typically have hard boiled eggs, which I'm still gonna prep those, but I don't think you guys care to see me make hard boiled eggs. And then, so that's usually before the gym, I'll have my pre-workout, my creatine. I get home from the gym and I then eat that gigantic um, container of Greek yogurt. Not the whole thing, but I usually have two-ish servings of Greek yogurt with blueberries and then I drizzle honey over the top. That's been my obsession for probably the last three months. And then sometimes Mitch will make avocado toast. It gets kind of random throughout the day, um, but I do for sure, not necessarily in the morning or at night, but just anytime I will have a protein shake. It varies between like one, one and a half scoops or it'll be a pre-made Alani shake. Just really trying to focus on getting my protein in and then I will have the shrimp dish for lunch. And then at nighttime I have the salad, pre-made salad packs of Costco salad. I have half a bag with the chicken on top. It is so freaking good. Like feels like dessert. It's not, but like my brain, every time I have it, I'm like, ooh, I'm saving for dinner because it's gonna be like the best thing ever. And then after that, I will have my Ninja Creamy Protein Ice Cream. And I made a new recipe the other week, except I made the new recipe and then I left for New York, so I haven't had a chance to try it. But usually I use the Oreo McFlurry flavor protein, switched it up, and I'm using a fruity cereal, I think is what it is. And I'm thinking it's gonna be freaking delicious with add-in strawberries. like. I'm so excited and I think I do want to add some like whipped cream on top, but I'm super, super excited to try that. I'm going to try it tonight. You know what? Maybe I'll try it on camera this after, this evening, tonight when I have it because it could be game changing. That's it. I do have, I have some shrimp left over. I essentially, well Mitch measured the quinoa incorrectly and I didn't have enough quinoa for six dishes. So I only prepped four, but I have enough asparagus and shrimp for two more dishes. So I'm probably just gonna put those into one dish and either make quinoa on the fly, add the shrimp to other, you know, little meals that Mitch throws together. Um, it's kind of good just to have some prepped food, even if it's not like a full meal. Um, I do like being able to just grab it and pick at it if I need to. But yeah, obsessed with Poppy. Did you guys see the tea on TikTok that like, they're not actually like a pro probiotic drink? What was the tea? Oh, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't really care because I don't drink poppy to improve my gut health. I drink it because I love the carbonation. So. <laughs> okay, I think, I think I'm gonna go review my other YouTube video, the Cancun trip that Mitch and I went on. And it has that edited and I just need to review it. So I think I'm gonna go walk on the treadmill, get some steps in. It is my rest day. So I'm not like actually working out, but I do like to not be a complete lazy bum. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helped give you some sort of meal prep ideas. And I just want to remind you guys that like meal prepping does not have to be hard. It does not have to be scary. I know a lot of recipes that you see online or like on Instagram scrolling, the most intense, like insane looking avocado toast, which they look from, they look phenomenal. Don't get me wrong. But like, am I going to make that? No, like I need, I need simple, I need quick, I need in and out of the kitchen type snacks. So I hope this helps. Okay, I love you guys, thank you so much for watching. I know I didn't update you last night on how my creamy turned out because two times, it was the third time where it finally didn't do this, my like creamy machine ripped up, I don't know if you can see those little lines, those are literally like ripped up plastic and so there was just a ton of plastic in my ice cream. That has literally never happened to me before and then I made one, it happened, I made a second, it happened again, and then I made a third and it didn't happen, but I'm a little bit concerned because obviously no one wants to be eating plastic in their ice cream. So that's why I didn't give you guys an update. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Love you, bye.